what they did with RCS that's different that they did for IPMS is they kind of split them up, right? Mm -hmm. So you got your CPM, converged IP messaging, P2P core stuff. And then you got your map messaging as a platform. You can be, you have to be approved yep. to be into the map. So that stops. I would think that would stop a majority of the spam because you're going to know all your brands. Yep. Brand verification, you, you're going to know. But then you have your P2P stuff. And the problem with the P2P piece is that since it's IP messaging, you can have a client on your computer. Yeah. Similar to iMessage yep. now, yeah. right? Yep. You have a client on your computer. There are going to be smart people, yeah. <laughs> right? smarter than me. Yeah. You know, some kid in the Ukraine is going to build an application that can flood Just like the they network. do with iMessage. Yeah. Yep. They can build an application yep. that will flood They'll the network. They'll spam yeah. people. So now you're going to use spam solutions within the P2P side, not on the A2P side. Correct. Okay. However, how do you do brand, brand verification becomes a big issue, right? And it's not companies like LivePerson, right? So I have 20,000 brands, 250 of the largest enterprises, publicly traded company, comes with a, a lot of, there's a lot of um, trust and reliability that comes with that, right? So my brands are the trusted brands. My brands yeah. are the city banks. The big enterprises. The big ones. enterprises, yep. you know? So you know when I'm sending a message, it's, it's honest. Legit. Because yeah. who yeah. wants that bad press, right? Yeah. It's not, that's that. Carriers are not worried about companies such as myself. Correct. Carriers are worried about such companies that, and I'm not trying to, dis, I'm not, in no way, shape, or form, trying to blame Twilio, right? Yeah. In any no, way, no, no. right? But, but the, the ease of use of it. But of, it's the Twilio's, a company like a Twilio, where Twilio sells it to a brand who sells it, or Twilio sends it to a third party who sells it to a brand who sells it to, and finally, when you eventually get, to the person sending the message, it's that same Ukrainian kid. Yeah, you never know. You know yeah. sending the message in the name of the brand that bought that connection. Yeah. So, so a very smart individual, I said, well, how do you stop that? Right? Like, how, you know, how yeah. how, how do we get you know that kind of protection and um, but also allow small businesses to use it because small businesses be you just want for you enterprise. want that, well that yeah well I'll, I'll give you an example of a small business use case right. Um, but how do you stop that? And they were like, oh, blockchain. I mean, so there, there's smart people thinking about it today.